Well, hello again, everyone, and welcome to our latest webcast that we're bringing you from Travel Weekly as part of our Roadmap to Recovery series. And as you can see, I'm joined by Andy Harmer, the Vice President of CLEAR in the UK and Ireland. And it's a big week for you, isn't it, Andy? Ever so slightly, yeah. So, yes. Uh, hi, Lucy. Um, yeah, we're back together again, uh, which is the theme of our conference. So we're back on Thursday with our first in-person event uh, for about 20 months. Uh, so a great opportunity for all of our cruise lines and travel agent and uh, other partners to come together uh, for a full day, a full day of events uh, that we're organising. So, yes, very exciting. So this is a, a sort of extra thing. We don't normally have an event uh, at this time, do we? So, but you obviously wanted to put something in because the time is right. People are starting to get together again. Yeah, exactly. So normally our conference is in May. So this is kind of a sneaky little uh, taster of what's to come uh, next year. But also, as you say, it's kind of an opportunity, I think, uh, for us to reflect on what's uh, the journey that we've all been through for the past 20 months, but also to look ahead. So we've had a great summer of uh, cruises around the UK with lots of ships sailing with Brits around the British Isles this summer. Uh, we've got lots of opportunities as more and more cruise ships are setting sail now globally. So lots of great opportunities for our travel agent partners to, to increase their cruise sales. So really we wanted to come together and say, reflect on what's been, but also look to see what opportunities lay ahead. Yeah, and you mentioned the theme together again, which is so fitting. And so how many agents and cruise lines have you got attending, Andy? So we're about 330, 340 registered, which is great. Uh, so slightly smaller than the last time we were together for conference, but still a great, a great turnout and great that people do want to come together again, because I think uh, like most organisations, we did a lot of virtual uh, stuff over the past 20 months to keep people kind of engaged and uh, informed and to uh, meet some of the big characters from cruise but I think we all recognize that coming together actually in person is a huge opportunity and something that we've really missed so yes so um, lots of people coming together lots of cruise lines in fact pretty much all of our cruise lines will be there as well um, and some great speakers uh, as well joining us so very excited indeed. We, uh, you say that but I know you're not <laughs> going to actually let us in on too many secrets. So we've got the business sessions, haven't we? Um, so great speakers from the UK, presumably some international, I don't know. Can, what can you tell us about the, the content? Nothing. The theme, <laughs> maybe if we can talk about the sort of what kind of uh, issues we might be covering. Yeah, so we, we always like to keep our speakers as much of a secret as we possibly can, purely because I think it, it makes for a better, lively session. It means that there's lots of surprises, lots of themes and ideas that we can kind of go through together uh, without people knowing who's up next and things like that. So we've, we, we have put a big focus on the content this year, purely because I think it's an important event for us. As I said, it's our first in person for a long time, but also it kind of sets us up for the year ahead as well. So we've put a lot of thought into content. As you say, we've got people uh, from the UK, but also globally, because we're living in a world where actually interacting with people globally is much easier than it was uh, even a couple of years ago. Uh, and we also have people speaking from the cruise industry and outside of the industry as well, because of course we're part of the wider tourism travel industry. We're part of much wider uh, society things that are changing as well. So it was important that we struck the balance between trying to get an understanding of what those opportunities and what's been happening in cruise, but also looking ahead and how we can be involved and personally engaged in that journey as well. I mean, brilliant. I mean, a fantastic <laughs> answer, which has got us very exciting, but actually said nothing. L I've, I've, not, I've, given I've, any, <laughs> not given anything away. I've been practicing for a long time on how not to answer a question, but by looking like I've answered the question. Yeah, um, yeah no, and, and actually, you know, you, it, it's really important, I think, that um, we put together a program that covered all of the issues and then looked ahead. Who yeah. says that and who's doing what and when people will have to find out. They, sh they should have registered, shouldn't they? They should be coming well, to find out. But, um, it's, not, it, it's not just business sessions, is it? There'll be a chance for agents to go and meet the cruise partners. And yeah. then there's also some fun in the evening because we, I think we deserve a bit of fun after everything we've been through. I, I certainly think we deserve some fun. Um, so yeah, so the morning is the trade fair and actually we're holding the trade fair in the brand new Horizon Terminal in Southampton. Great. So great opportunity to see this brand new terminal that opened uh, during the course of the summer. The afternoon is all about those business sessions and hearing from some great speakers. 
And then in the evening, yes, as you say, um, dinner, some entertainment provided by our friends at Princess Cruises, uh, lots of prizes to be won during the day, lots of some, some surprises and giveaways and, you know, lots of things going on. So, yes, a very exciting day. And, cru and crucially, you and I back with our clipboards, Andy. Do you know, it's been a very long time, Lucy, since we were on stage together with our clipboards. Mine is dusted off ready, but I think, um, it, it, I mean, it's, you know, one of the things that's been great over the past month or so, or two months or three months, or even six months has been planning for this because it's a yeah. nice kind of thing to look forward to. And, you know, we've missed being with people and it's been great to interact and talk to them through uh, technology. But it's really nice to see people face to face. And I think it's really important that Cruz recognises a huge effort from across the industry over the past 20 months. We have all been working together. Uh, and so being together again this week is, is a really important milestone for us all. Um, oh. And it's been great fun planning what we're doing and saying and what's happening. So um, I know I'm, ex I'm really excited. <laughs> and just um, looking ahead then, uh, is the plan all being well to return to full selling cruise conference in the springtime next year or you're not quite as far ahead of that yet yeah it's, it's absolutely as soon as we are able we'll be announcing plans for our full 2022 uh, events lineup but uh we'll be announcing some of those details on thursday as well so look out for that but um yes we're we are we're looking i think at a way in which we can be in person again at, at, at our normal events but also looking at ways that we can strengthen some of the virtual stuff that we do as well so that's it's very much a hybrid way that we work um, moving forward which i think, which is I think is, yeah everybody's doing that and it Absolutely. seems to be working well but obviously one of the key things you're known for is the ship visits and i know we, we haven't got time for that this time because it's just a, a, a one day event yeah. but do you think that's going to come back as part of your of your events andy yeah we that, that's such an important part because we can talk about product and talk about some new ships as much as we like on stage but actually seeing them and being able to visit them is really important so so yeah we've already started some of those conversations with cruise lines and ports so in, in order for that to be possible next year um and i think you know we have a a great opportunity next year actually because there's so many new ships that have come out in yeah. 2021 and so many more coming out in 2022 so Lots of new ships around as well for us to have a look at. All right. Well, listen, I'm very uh, excited about Thursday. I'm absolutely honoured you've asked me to moderate uh, the business sessions with you again. Uh, you know, it's one of my favourite events. And I, I guess we're both looking forward to seeing everyone that's coming, aren't we? Yeah, and uh, indeed. And thank you to all of our sponsors, all of the people that are coming to join us on Thursday. We can't wait to see you and that we hope you have a great, informative and yet fun day as well. Brilliant. All right. See you Thursday. Thanks, Andy. Thanks,